we got a lot of ideas out on the table and uh, you know we were able to talk about a lot of our strengths and weaknesses that we have as a city and as a city government and uh, one idea that surfaced uh, and, and one that I'm particularly concerned about is uh, reducing our city debt. Um, I've heard that complaint from a lot of my constituents and uh, it's a valid concern and it's uh, something that uh, you know I think uh, we need to pay a lot more attention to and this is the venue that we, we get that ball started in and, uh, and I think we'll, we'll begin taking steps in that direction. So in the next five years do you see it as a situation where you know don't expect a lot um, of, of new city projects but kind of continuing what we've got in progress and focusing on um, limiting that debt load, building reserves? I don't know that we're ready to say that yet. I mean, I think that there's some more uh, things that we can do to shake the bushes and uh, still continue on the path with our city projects, but uh, reduce that debt load at the same time, you know. Uh, the, the reasons that the debt is high now are, have all been for very, uh, very uh, well-deserved, well-needed projects, and there's not one of them that I could see us uh, eliminating. Everything we had discussed with Lyle, who's our facilitator, um, our concerns, and then when I say ours, um, city council, and then staff concerns, and we, then we really dive into what our priorities are and what our main goals are, and this year we added a lot more things that came, they have come to the forefront that weren't necessarily on the initial paperwork. Such as? Local healthy foods, um, affordable housing. And when I say affordable housing, not just for seniors, but for everyone, um, and really to look, take a real targeted look at that. And we also looked at restrooms at Jackson Park to really not just have it on paper. We need to drive that and move it. It's a park that's used widely, and we need to take it more seriously.